to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely day. Today's video, I am sharing a, another breakfast recipe because I know you guys love them and I love breakfast because it's my favorite meal of the day. And I'm sharing my red quinoa oatmeal recipe today. It's one of my favorites lately because it's so easy to make and you can really top it with anything you like and it's gonna taste delicious no matter what. As long as you got the base down, you can do whatever you want and be creative with it afterwards. So if you guys are interested in finding out how to make this delicious red quinoa oatmeal, then just keep watching. For this recipe, you will need some canned coconut milk, red quinoa, steel cut oats, almond butter, coconut oil, sea salt and cinnamon, and lastly, you'll need some filtered water. You're going to start by bringing your water to a boil with a pinch of sea salt, and then you can go ahead and add in your steel cut oats and your quinoa. Give it a quick stir, and then you're gonna bring down the heat to about medium to low heat, and cover it and cook this for about 25 minutes. Afterwards, you just wanna give it a stir, add in your coconut milk, and let it cook for an additional five minutes with the lid on. Once everything is cooked, you can go ahead and turn off the heat and just add in your cinnamon, coconut oil, and almond butter. Give that a stir, pop the lid on, and then you're just gonna let it sit still on the burner with it off for five minutes with the lid on. And as always, you'll find the full recipe at healthnetnutrition.ca so you can bookmark it, share with a friend, and so you can make this over and over again. So once it's done, give it a last good stir, and this is what it should look like depending on how creamy you want it, and then you're ready to serve it. So I'm just serving it in this large mug because I thought it was cute and who doesn't want to have oatmeal in a mug? For toppings lately, I'm loving my frozen wild blueberries. I love how they just kind of melt into the hot oatmeal. And then always a favorite of mine is some fresh sliced banana. A drizzle of some organic Canadian maple syrup for extra sweetness. And then an also third favorite are sunflower seeds. I basically put the same toppings on all my oatmeals because they're just like my go-to. And then just to top it off, it's like the cherry on top, I'm gonna add a spoonful of the almond butter, which just makes it really delicious and creamy and just melts right into the oatmeal. So that's how you make my red quinoa oatmeal. I hope you guys enjoyed it and try it out. Show me your oatmeal creations on Snapchat and Facebook and Instagram using the hashtag healthnuteats. I would love to see your recreations and what you guys top your oatmeal with. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you aren't already, hit the subscribe button so you can be subscribed to my channel. It's totally free. And then you won't miss any of my future recipes like this one. Thanks again for hanging out with me today and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.